Good morning and welcome to Forks Club TV. Today is Thursday, March 11, 2010. I'm Remy with your Forks Club Market Update. Following the release of U.S. economic data releases this morning, the dollar is trading mixed against the major currency pairs. The dollar is lower against the yen as well as the British pound and is currently trading flat against the euro currency. In terms of U.S. economic data releases, jobless initial claims for the latest week came in lower down by 6,000 to 462,000. But at the same time, the four-week average as well as continuing claims spiked higher. The four-week average rose by 5,000 in the latest week, while continuing claims were up by 37,000. Also, the U.S. trade deficit for the month of January narrowed sharply more than expected by 6.6 percent. It fell to 37.29 billion from 39.9 billion. And taking a closer look at the trade deficit figures, exports fell by 0.3 percent while imports were lower by 1.7 percent. Now, overseas data from China was in focus again and concern about inflation um, came to the forefront as food prices spiked higher. CPI in February in China jumped by 2.7 percent. Also, money supply figures from China, the MTU figure, showed that lending by Chinese banks rose by 700 billion yuan in the month of February. And taking a look at equity markets at the New York Open, we're seeing that the major equity indexes are all lower down by a quarter of a percent. Now taking a closer look at the major currency pairs, let's start out by looking at euro dollar. And for that pair, on an intraday basis, it is capped by a negative trend line. The pair is rebounding on its intermediary support, but does remain capped by declining trend line. The preference of trading central analysts for euro dollar is short positions below 1 and 36.80, with targets at 1 and 36.25 and 1 and 35.85 in extension. Alternatively, above that pivot point, they do look for further upside with targets at 1 and 37.10 and 1 and 37.40 in extension. Now, moving on to the dollar yen on an intraday basis, caution is advised for that pair. The RSI lacks upward momentum and the pair should strike against its resistance. The preference of trading central analysts for the dollar yen pair is short positions below the pivot of 90.75, with targets standing at 90.40 and 90.20 in extension. Alternatively, above that pivot point, they do look for further upside with targets at 91.25 and 91.75 in extension. Last but not least, let's take a quick look at the euro yen cross. For that pair on an intraday basis, the upside does prevail. Now, the cross has rebounded on its support and is currently challenging its resistance. The RSI for euro yen is also supported by a rising trend line. The preference of trading central analysts is long positions above the pivot of 123.35 with targets at 124.50 and 125 in extension. Alternatively, below that pivot point of 123.35, they do look for further downside with targets at 123 and 122.50 in extension. And that does wrap it up for today's Forex Club Market Update. Make sure to tune in tomorrow morning for your latest in Forex news. Thanks for watching and have a great day.